Melania Trump speaks French at Paris Children's Hospital. First Lady Melania Trump dusted off her French to charm a group of sick children at a Parisian hospital on Thursday. Shortly after touching down in Paris, Melania was whisked off to Necker Hospital where she visited the Enfant Malade's wing. Beaming in her red skirt suit, she greeted the children with soft bonjours before taking her seat at a play table. The 47-year-old then introduced herself enthusiastically. Share tweet share email comments. First Lady Melania Trump dusted off her fringe to charm a group of sick children at a Parisian hospital on Thursday. Shortly after touching down in Paris, Melania was whisked off to Necker Hospital where she visited the Enfant Malade's wing. Beaming in her red skirt suit, she greeted the children with soft bonjours before taking her seat at a play table. The 47-year-old then introduced herself enthusiastically. Et toi. She gestured to one child, urging them to share their name. When one of the children replied in English, she commended them, You speak very good English, very good. French is one of six languages the First Lady is believed to speak. Slovenian is her native tongue and was the first she learned. She is also widely reported to speak Italian, German and Serb-Croatian. Her grasp of Italian and French came from the four years she spent living and working as a model in Milan and Paris between 1992 and 1996, when she moved to New York. German and English are the foreign languages most commonly taught in Slovenian schools, followed by French. It's not clear whether Melania had a taste of any before she quit her university degree and designed to leave her home country in the early 1990s. Her supporters have often used her language skills as weaponry against her critics. When comedian Chelsea Handler claimed cruelly last year that the First Lady barely speaks English, Trump fans responded angrily with a list of the many languages Melania is said to have mastered. During a visit to Rome in May, she is said to have spoken Italian with another group in another children's hospital. The First Lady spokeswoman Stephanie Grisham said the experience at Ospedale Pediatrico Bambino Gesù was very emotional. After the visit, the hospital shared a photograph of the note she had left for the children. Written in English, it said, Great visiting you. Stay strong and positive. While the president speaks just one language, Melania is eager to keep the tradition of multilingualism going. In 2009, when he was just a toddler, Melania boasted that Baron, their 11-year-old son, speaks French, English and Slovenian. Melania steals the show in France with stunning rose-red outfit. Melania Trump knows how to make a grand entrance and for her and President Donald Trump's arrival in Paris, she made a stylish statement in head to toe red, wearing a modern interpretation of Christian Dior's bar suit. When the President and First Lady departed the White House for France Wednesday afternoon Melania caught everyone's eye while wearing a stylish black suit for their flight to France. When she stepped off the plane in Paris she grabbed everyone's attention once again. President Trump is on his first trip to France since taking office as he has been invited to be the guest of honor of French President Emmanuel Macron for the Bastille Day activities that will include a parade along the Champs-Élysées which will be opened by a group of American troops. Trump just touched down in France could Macron handle his famous handshake? President Donald Trump arrived in France Thursday to celebrate Bastille Day with French President Emmanuel Macron. 
While Trump usually dominates the handshakes he has with world leaders, Macron has studied Trump's handshake to make sure he doesn't project weakness when greeting the US president. When they shook hands, each man gave the other a couple of pats on the opposite arm and held on to the shake for a long period of time. They stood incredibly close to each other, nearly touching chests. <laughs>